get mission nodes from, which is the main part of missions. This is a mission node here. It allows the moderators to teleport and allows the moderators to teleport to someone else. The defaults have the help commands that are allowed to come up. Now teleport to home, allowed to view the message of the day, the rules, and the set homes. And the admins are allowed to do everything. That's what this little star means. So this new group we're going to inherit from the mod from the moderators. If I can spell right. Um, and then save. Uh, and the permission nodes. This is the ability, a particular function from a plugin that you want the user to um, be able to access. At the moment, as we have no other plugins, uh, this is really not necessary, but obviously where you're going to want other plugins for the server to function, so like World Guard, World Edit, and Essentials, which we will be going through later on. Uh, this is where you put what permission you want them to access. So at the moment there's no permission, so we're just going to skip that for now. Uh, this is where you define what users, I'm just going to remove the default ones, uh, what users you have in your server and what category they're in. Uh, if you don't define a user, they will automatically be set to the default. So that's the one that you want to put most of your work into because this will be the one that when people join, they'll go into as it's the default class. But when I join, as it's my server, I don't want to be put into the default class. So I'm just going to enter my Minecraft name, which is that, and then I want to be put into the Tim's class. And save. And that's all done. And then up here in the clipboard, it gives you the code all set up nicely for you. So all you need to do is copy that, paste that, paste that into your permissions YML and that is set up brilliantly for you. So all you have to do is save, just gonna get rid of that, and then go back into your bucket. And it's all set up in there, in there perfectly. So just, just test so it all works. Yep, it's all done and plugins it's running. There's no errors, so that's all good. Uh, stop. Right. Uh, as this is a bucket server, and this is you making this to allow others to connect to you, and you don't want it to be private, uh, like a Hamachi network or something like that. So, we're going to now show you the next bit, which is port forwarding, which is when a person will put your IP in their Minecraft and it will automatically connect, and that's all that happens. So, you want to go to your internet. Open up your internet, and whilst that's doing, go to your start and then search and type CMD up here. And then you want to type IP config. Uh, and then find this here your IP4 address. You need to remember that, and you also need to find your default gateway. Most people's will be 192.68.01 but it can change but usually it's that so just type that into your search uh, bar 1.68.0.1 and then enter this is where you need to uh, log in with, to your router uh, if you haven't changed it it will be default you can find what defaults are in the description if you've changed it then you know what it is so log in uh, and this is where you need to set up to allow others to connect port forward and so first you need to go to services and this is my actual one at the moment so ignore that you should have really nothing in here unless you've done it before you want to click to add custom service this may be different as my each router is different but most people have net gear and most network gears are set up like this if it's not then find out <coughs> sorry and name it whatever you want I'm just going to call it mind test uh, you want a TCP and UDP start point. Here, this is where you want to put 25565 oh, two, here, because that's what the default one will be for you. But because I'm already running a port with this, I'm going to put it to this one so it works. But remember, yours will be different, and you want to put the 25565 in here. And then you want to hit apply. And then here we have the service type set up with the port 2620. But 
you want that port. But and then you want to go to firewall rules, and then once again, this is my one, so you shouldn't have that in there. You just click add. Uh, you want to find the one that you just set up. Mine's mine test. Uh, then always allow connection. This is where you want to go back to your CMD, just here, and find the IP4 address, which mine is. Just gonna get old Windows snap. Put the 192. This is your address in your house. Uh, the IP address in your house. So if you have multiple computers might be slightly different so you have to check and then 7 7 so make sure the thing that you enter here the number that you enter is the IP4 address uh, and then always allow and then apply and that is set up to always allow at that with the port that we set up in the services so you just want to close that exit and then close, click test, and then start the server again. And it should all set up. Uh, then you want to go back to the internet and then type what's my IP. Find your IP address. This is the IP address that you will log into and also give to your mates to log into your server. Then we go back to Minecraft. Open up Minecraft. Multiplayer. Then that's my server. Don't worry about that. Add new server. Call it what we want. I'm just going to call it Dims. Uh, put in the server address, the IP address, which we just found, and the port. Yours will be 25565. Mine's obviously not going to be because I have my other one running. It's going to be 2620. Done. And there we are, it's set up. So if this works, I don't know whether it will, logging in. There we go, logged in. This is my Minecraft world that I've just set up. Uh, <coughs> jungle biome. <coughs> right. Um, <laughs> right, okay. So. Uh, this is where you want to use permissions to make sure that uh, it's all setting up properly. So if you go back to your plugins, permissions X, I just realised that me being in my team group isn't very helpful. So I'm going to put myself in yeah the admins group. So to change anyone's groups, you just type exactly what it says, otherwise it won't be able to find it, in the user group here, save, go back to your oh, CMD and type PEX reload, and you say permissions reloaded. Uh, right, so I'm just going to go over some of the in-game commands about how to use permissions. So if you want to add a... Uh, if you want to add a prefix to a group, you just uh, px group and then the exact spelling of it, so admins, uh, prefix, and then you want to do a uh, bracket, I mean, uh, whatever one of them is called. And, uh, this is where you can use colorings. So you use the at, uh, the at and symbol, and C is red I think, B is blue uh, and E is yellow I think I'm not entirely sure you can look them up and I'm just gonna put admin admins in big bold letters and then uh, close and enter and it should say admins preset so and then we type something hello and it didn't work so we're gonna find out why it didn't work I think I know why that's not working. So if we go into plugins, chat manager, config, uh, yeah, false. We need to set this to true. Don't really know why this has ever turned off, but that should now enable. So if we click uh, reload, uh, it should now reload. And now when we 
come back in. It should uh, the chat manager should be enabled, which should allow me to. Hello. Yeah. Okay. We have red here. Uh, right. That is pretty much all we need to know about how to set up a very very basic Minecraft server. Uh, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, two last things before we leave. Uh, one about my own server uh, here. It's a very nice server. It's quite advanced compared to what we're doing now. Uh, it's got loads of cool plugins that help you with in game and admins that are always happy to help. So the link to that will be in the description. If you could please join, it's got an ever growing community. It'd be brilliant. The last thing is uh, to click type stop to stop it. Don't just exit it because if you click, if you exit it, nothing saves. If you stop it, it saves everything, it saves all the plugins that you've done in game and saves the chunks. And remember to make backups of your plugins and world just in case anything goes wrong, you can easily then backdate it to a recent thing. So cheers for watching, uh, subscribe, like it. If you have any questions in the YouTube comments uh, below and cheers for watching.